Welcome my Capricorns to your July monthly zodiac sign reading. I'm Christine, welcome to my channel. I am really grateful to have you here. Thank you so much for your support. I welcome uh, my new subscribers and of course those that have been with me since the beginning, even though I'm just starting out. <laughs> I really, really, really appreciate you being here and for taking time and space out of your day. Uh, as I shuffle these, I quickly want to say, always trust your intuition. Trust your internal guidance. Even if it feels off, even if you feel like you doubt yourself, that's when you should trust yourself the most. Know that energies are fluid. People have free will. Oop, and finally, practice discernment. Super important, whether it's with my readings or any others. So we are going to dive in and see what July has in store for you all my caps. We're going to start with some oracle, and then we'll bring in the tarot. The universe, what messages do you have for my Capricorns? Thank you. Whoa, this is beautiful. We got Water Guardian. Connect with your emotions. You all, we're in cancer season. <laughs> some of you, even though these cards do not have any zodiac signs ascribed, some of you may have, I got cancer immediately, but you could also have other water elements. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Wow. Some of you I'm getting may be a little bit detached or turned away from your feelings or connecting to emotions that are coming up right now. We have a lot going on, a lot of shifts that have happened within the last several months with the eclipses. We just had a new moon in Cancer last week and we have an upcoming full moon in your sign of Capricorn coming up next week. And this season of Cancer that we're in until about June 22nd. It's very emotional. It's about connecting to your feelings, to the nurturing side of yourself, to the mother of yourself, or to the mother within, I should say. I'm getting some of you may need, this to me speaks of the throat chakra too. Some of you have a, a need to speak. There's a need to express yourself. There's emotions coming up. This could concern with family. This could, oh my God, I'm having trouble speaking. This could concern family, friends, relationships. There's depth here. I feel like some of you have a lot bottled up inside. You have lots to say. Look at all these bubbles. It's like some of you have kept it in so long. It's almost like the effect of not being able to breathe. You know, like when you hold your breath underwater and then slowly your mouth opens and you let like one little bubble out and then another. That's, that's the energy I'm getting. I feel like some of you have been guarded against opening up. Some of you are having difficulty expressing what you want to say. It could, it's not just with other people, it could be with yourself as well. Some of you, I feel, um, are ready to cry, are ready to burst. I'm getting just a lot of, a lot of releasing, almost like opening up a water fountain. I don't know why I said water fountain. It could be a faucet, <laughs> but I feel like there's a lot there. What other messages does the universe have for my Capricorns, please, for July? What else? My Capricorns, thank you. Oracle, wait for important information. Wow. Ironic, we have the smoke here because I'm burning incense and you may see the smoke trail into your reading. I feel like this concerns a relationship for some of you and we'll definitely get more clarity and information as this reading progresses and as we, you know, pull some cards. I feel like some of you are very much in your feelings right now, but you're almost trying to be detached so you don't have to be in your feelings, so you don't have to feel them. And this, of course, can concern anything at this moment. I'm getting strongly, intuitively, relationships. Friends, family, partners. It could be people at work, too. Some of you have asked your guides, have asked the universe, have put out a call for help, are trying to get clarity in a situation. And there's just this waiting time. I feel a little bit, um, almost like an unsettling, like a sadness of sorts. A little bit of anxiety.
there's something I feel that there's going to bring information. Information is going to come up, I should say. It's going to be illuminated, perhaps in the full moon in, in Capricorn happening soon. And there's going to be a change. You see the snake here on this person's arm? Snake signifies uh, change, transformation, like a rebirth, because when a snake uh, molts, it loses its skin. It's almost like it rebirths itself into a new snake of sorts. I feel like some of you are in this period of transition in all areas of your life I'm getting, especially your foundation and especially for, I'm getting relationships a lot. Some of you may be undergoing a uh, glow up is what comes to mind, but it could be internal as well. Some of you may be changing things about yourself, but it, a lot of it has been a result of internal work. Some of you are divinators. Some of you use divine tools or tools of divination. <laughs> I just heard, I don't think I said that right. Some of you may scry too, may use smoke to get messages. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Um, Cause you can receive messages through smoke as well. Some of you are clair, clair alien, clair gustant. You use your other olfactory senses too like smelling to get information. Some of you are opening up to gifts. Any, okay, we got two more. Sky Father, trust in the unknown. Yeah, you all are definitely in a period of uncertainty right now. You're waiting for information. Do you see the blue? There's a lot that you want to express or you're maybe, perhaps you're waiting for messages. Take it as it resonates, but I feel like this is you, your energy of wanting to say something, speak up. The eagle to me and this, obviously the sky father, this speaks of, it could be someone older. It could be metaphorically speaking though, in your life, having to relinquish control over something that you have been trying to control. And I feel like it's tied with this. Some of you are trying to figure out the next steps in a situation with someone else. It could be in your life path as well. But I instinctively, I, I got um, relationships. Some of you are trying to surrender at this time and it's very, very difficult. Because it's similar to the energy here with the Oracle. When you wait for information, when you trust in the unknown, there's an element of releasing. There's transformation coming for you all. There's something that's going to change. Whatever information comes in, in divine timing, I'm getting, it's going to cause a major shift. This is almost like a death card in the tarot. It's a rebirth transformation. A lot of blue here. Shit, more blue. You guys, this definitely having to do with your third chakra. Look at this guardian angel. You are not alone. I feel like some of you are calling for assistance and you're not receiving it but I also feel like it's because you may not be tapping into your intuition right now and this is the hard part especially if you're in, in the state of emotions that may uh, indicate um, sadness anxiety find a way to ground yourself uh, whether it's taking a walk and listening to calming music meditating there's so many different types of meditations visualize guided you can just listen to certain binaural beats or frequencies just lay there and as, as best as possible, let your body go limp and let yourself go in a flow state. But this is confirmation too that you are connecting to your guides. Some of you may be seeing feathers. I got uh, dimes too. I just got dimes in, in my head. Some of you may be seeing feathers, dimes, eagles as well. Eagles speak to uh, looking at things from a higher viewpoint. Also, and trusting in forces beyond you. There's something you want to say here, I feel, to someone or to speak your truth about something. Okay, let's continue on. We are going to grab a monology card and 
see what additional messages the universe has for my Capricorns. What else do my Capricorns need to know for July, please? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Thank you. Just came out in a bunch. Okay. Got two. Look at this. You came out in your deck or in your reading. New Moon and Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. <laughs> And then we got super moon. Emotions are running high. You know, this is double confirmations here. Connect with your emotions. Emotions are running high. There is something that is stirring within you all. I can just feel it. I feel like it's bubbling up almost like when you boil water and it's about to overflow. You know, when you just leave it on too much, like beans especially, but pasta and it overflows. I'm feeling that way with your emotions. Some of you... It's not that you, you want to cry, it's there's a need for you to cry to express it. So there's some type of uncertainty, perhaps sorrow or change that you're undergoing. This could relate to your goals. This could also relate, I'm getting to your um, self-improvement self, your own goals, your life path. But I feel like many of you are working really hard right now to maintain a balance, to be able to continue moving forward in your life, even though there's something that's really tapping into your emotional side. I definitely am getting a lot of relationship issues, perhaps not issues, but different situations relating to relationships at this moment. Okay. Should I take these? Okay, I'm going to pull, um, light your, work your light, and then we're going to go into tarot. I feel like some of you are not trusting your intuition. There's a lot of indication here about connecting to your intuition. Because when you connect to your emotions, it's a form, too, of really connecting on a deeper level to yourself. We got Oracle. We got Trust in the Unknown. And we got Angels. All of these speak to things that are beyond ourselves, perhaps supernatural, metaphysical. This is your spiritual side. Some of you may be dealing with different retrogrades right now going on or different transits are passing through. Um, perhaps you have a lot of 12th house energy because we all have Neptune in our chart. Check which sign it is in and if any of these astrological transits are passing through them because i feel like the 12th house is being highlighted here there could also be for a small few of you a situation at work that has spilled over that's about to and it's just pissing the hell out of you and you're just upset you're annoyed but i'm getting strongly this has to do with with other people. Okay. Can whoa, that one flew out. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Look at that. You guys, I can't make this up. It says you are not alone. Do you see it? And then we have this card here. You are not alone. This is double confirmation, y'all. I'm gonna move these up. Double confirmation here. You are, at this moment, really protected divinely and surrounded by your loved ones, by angels, by your spiritual team. Some of you may be seeing a lot of winged creatures. We have another eagle here. Eagles, and these are different decks, by the way. <laughs> Two different decks. We see wolves. This looks like a cougar or puma. We see ele elephants, angels, and ancestors. Some of you may be tapping in or connecting, or some of your guides, your spiritual guides, may be an ancestor. It could be a grandparent, a grandfather. It could be a feminine energy. There, I'm getting all different sorts of energy. It could really be anyone. Some of you may be connecting a lot at this moment with your spirit animals and seeing a lot of repetition, a lot of synchronicities. Any, <laughs> I don't even get the question out and uh, the cards fly out. Okay. 
Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Some of you may connect with the Pleiade, Ple Pleiadian system with, as a star seed. Wow, so I'm getting DNA activations, I'm getting upgrades. Some of you may be in the midst of, you may have just started your spiritual awakening journey or be in another ascension level, I'll say. I'll just call it like an upgrade. That's what I think of those. This may be why you have to connect to your emotions. Some of you may have cancer in your north node. You may have also Capricorn in your south node. So our north node is what we uh, cultivate in this lifetime, our destiny, what we're here to really step into. We're also balancing the south node, which is from our past, something that um, could involve karma as well, but it entails things that we, uh, we know how to do with great proficiency. And so it's not about just focusing on a North Node, but it's also taking that balance. Some of you, and we got blue again. There's about messages. There's something about messages here in communication. Some of you may have Gemini in your chart, but I'm getting strongly. You all, some of these emotions that you're being called to tap into and that you're feeling, it's, t it's because of this, uh, these downloads you're getting. It's like you're being equipped, you're being prepared for this next phase of your ascension, of your spiritual journey. Some of you may be having a lot of dreams with UFOs, with Pleiadians, with other star seeds, or may have images come to your mind and you're like, it seems so real. And they could be almost like snippets, like photographic snippets of past life events, remembrances. A lot of people, especially in the month of, I should say in the season of cancer, because it's not for all of June, uh, we do connect a lot to our ancestry, our lineage, to the cosmos, to our intuition. And there's a lot of stuff happening in the dream state, premonitions as well. Some of you are in the midst of healing too. It could just be healing from wounds from past life because we do have Pluto in retrograde. In actually in Capricorn in your sign as well <laughs> and a lot of stuff is coming up cancer is the season of healing so you got a lot of blue here protection call back your power cut the cord soul retrieval you know I've been talking about relationships in the beginning I feel like <laughs> this confirms it for me we got more blue and pink this speaks to me of the heart chakra I feel like for some of you were involved perhaps in a toxic situation, a relationship with someone. It could be platonic, familial, romantic, but this is indicating it may be time to make a decision to end it. Do a cord cutting, a release, call back your power. There's something that you have to reintegrate. Perhaps this is why you have the need to express yourself. There may be things you want to say, but you can't at this moment where you feel you can't. It's amazing how you got protection card, but you got you are not alone from your guardian angels and from keepers of the earth. These are ancestors. You are very protected at this time. So know that whatever you're going through, you just have to call and your team is there already. I feel like many of them have been surrounding you. Wow. Okay. We're gonna pull some cards now. Okay, this is not gonna work. We're gonna have to shuffle the other way. <laughs> I'm trying not to only because of the, the candles, but we'll do it. If we do it in a smaller way, they'll shuffle. <laughs> some of you guys I heard are also opening up to new gifts. So I mentioned Claire Gustin's Claire Aliens and other kind of olfactory type of sensitives, sensitivity senses you may be opening up to. You could also be opening up to channeling, to, to uh, channeling with the cosmos, something bigger. So with other star seeds, galactic federation, other entities, you may be getting information. So that could come in many forms. Sometimes it's clairaudient where you hear things and you're like, what's going on? or through images like clairvoyancy, but I'm also getting heavily uh, astral travel and through dream states. Some of you are definitely opening up to clairvoyancy at this time. It may be freaking you out. 
That's why it's really important to ground yourself. messages does the universe have for my Capricorns, please? What messages does the universe... Okay. <laughs> Thank you. The Fool. You are about to start a brand new journey, you all. You're about to take a leap of faith into something. This could be leaving something or moving into something, but this is the beginning of a journey. Look at this. A lot of blue again, a lot of water. I definitely am getting a lot of spiritual awakening. Some of you, this is just the start. Some of you have just left or are currently processing or leaving or will be soon. Something karmic I'm getting, to toxic. Something that was painful. What else do my Capricorns uh, need to know, please, for July? Thank you. We got five of pentacles. Five indicates change. This is a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Uh, I feel like some of you may be not seeing things with clarity at this time. Some of you may be putting yourself in this, in literally the self-imposed state of anxiety, of grief, of disappointment, but you're the only one that can unlock yourself. You see the key? That is the answer. When you open it, you have that freedom. Some of you may be dealing with self-limiting beliefs right now, maybe processing grief, emotions, or maybe simply in a state at a low point in your life where you're like, okay, I just need a time out. I need to just stay in this shit, marinate a little, and then I'll move on. But you do have the ability to get out of it yourself. I'm not too worried about that though. I feel like this is something that you are aware of. That's the thing. And the awareness is key here because we got the fool before. What else is, do my Capricorns um, need to know for July, please? Two of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this to me indicates a decision, a choice. This is definitely about a change. Literally, this is whatever decision you make is going to be, it's going to shift. This could be a move for some of you. I feel like it's a move out of the current situation that you're in. With two of wands, this could, could, this could relate to a, a relationship. Or for me, I'm also getting, it could be a, a place of with others. So it could be like community, school, work, an environment. But there's a need to Make a decision for yourself to leave something that may not be for your highest good. I'm going to clarify this, two of wands, for you guys. I feel like you all are looking to improve your situation right now. Again, we don't have cups here yet, which do indicate emotions, relationships, but I'm strongly sensing this has to do with a relationship. Some of you are still like, it could just be the, the pain that keeps you in, the comfort of knowing someone or the attachment because there's an underlying lesson here. Okay, can we clarify the two of wands please? And clarify the two of wands, please. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, two of wands. Holy crap. Yeah, so we got the bully in this deck. The bully is the devil card. So this is clarifying the two of wands. We got the nine of wands. More fire. Bully is Capricorn, by the way. Seven of wands, more fire. I definitely feel there was some type of conflict. I feel like you were... Uh, people were perhaps, um, you were defending yourself against others. Yeah, I feel like there was some type of toxicity. Again, to me, this points to a relationship, whether it's platonic, a personal relationship with family, friends, 
a romantic partner or in a workplace. I feel like you persisted for a long time. There was not any balance. It was very one-sided. This could have been a narcissistic type of relationship. It, just any type of toxicity where someone tried to overpower you, to dim your light. There could have been emotional, mental, psychological abuse, gaslighting. I'm getting you tried your best to defend yourself. There was a lot coming at you. It's almost like it was just you against the world I'm getting. Literally, there's a song uh, by Helen Reddy, R-E-D-D-Y. She's a singer from the 70s, I believe, and she has a song called You and Me Against the World. I believe that's it. There could be something in the lyrics for you. I just got that right away. I just felt like some of you are exhausted. You're ready for this ending. But there, that this is a decision you have to make. This could have entailed just toxic, I'm getting a lot of just people, toxic people, behaviors, the way you were treated. Anything else my Capricorns need to know, please, for July? King of Wands, more fire. Some of you may have a lot of fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sag, or maybe dealing with people. Again, take it as it resonates that have these signs. This also indicates Leo. I feel like you're being called to take a, a decisive, assertive action, to utilize this courage, this bravery, even if you're scared, and to do what is right for you, to protect yourself. I feel like many of you know what you have to do. It's just making that decision that could be scary because this could, once you make a decision, it's going to be a massive change in your life, whether it's leaving a job, leaving a relationship, moving, relocating. Okay, final messages please for my Capricorns. Anything else about what's going on? Anything else you need to know? Oh, thank you. So these are some big cards. You got the devil card up here. It's a major arcana card. Got the fool card. We got, I'll show it to you upright. We got the wheel, but we got it in reverse. And this has 10 on it, which is completion. Something is about to complete in your life, but I feel like it's not yet because you have not made the decision, right? I feel like right now there's a little bit of confusion. A lot of you are asking for clarity, hence the oracle and trusting the universe. Some of you have been praying and meditating perhaps and asking for guidance. I feel though many of you have not tapped into your intuition. You're missing the signs from your guides. But this indicates a destined change, fate. The signs associated with this are Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. We also got four of wands in reverse. Again, I feel like uh, I'm just feeling a lot of stuckness, stagnation, a lot of being in your head. You're not able to see the light at the end of the tunnel right now. I think because so many of you are in this state. I, some of you may be asking like, what do I do? What do I do? But you know what to do. Finally, we got the Queen of Swords in reverse. So yeah, some of you are, again, the Queen of Swords upright indicates someone who's detached, but I'm getting the energy that you are, you're detached from your connecting to the emotions as it pertains to uh, allowing your intuition to guide you. It doesn't mean that you're not feeling the emotion. Some of you may be crying or in the midst of grief. But I feel right now there's a semblance of not knowing where to go. You don't know the next step. That is really scaring you because there is no compass. It's like, okay, if I make this decision to leave this toxic job, this relationship, this environment, I have no idea what the hell I'm going to gonna do next. I don't know where I'm going. But I feel like it's your energy, your action of being decisive. It's going to call in all of those next puzzle pieces, those steps, those next steps that you have to take. We're going to ask for some guidance. What guidance can the universe uh, provide for my Capricorns, please? Thank you. 
We got Four of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Can you guys see this? I'm gonna move it up. <laughs> we are gonna move it up here. So the Four of Pentacles indicates um, saving up, tapping into your resources that you have. Some of you may need to have a contingency plan or backup plan. Save up, uh, consider any costs, minimize those costs, figure out everything you need to do before you make your decision because that can give you more peace of mind and security. Tap into your network. Some of you that may have to make a decision to leave, maybe you'll have to move uh, housing or change where you live and tapping into who you know, that could give you peace of mind in terms of where you're going to go next. Because four talks about your foundation and your stability. So some of you may be worried about your money too. If this is about a toxic job. We also got the moon. This is Pisces energy, but I always get cancer right away because can cancer is ruled by the moon. Again, this speaks to um, really getting in touch with your emotions, with your intuition. A lot of the messages you may be getting with this Oracle card and with the universe, they're coming to you intuitively. It's simply about tapping into that listening. It, it, they come in the quiet moments. Can we ask for any other additional guidance, please? Thank you. Okay, beautiful energy. Four of Swords, rest. Immediately, I get, like, take time out to take care of yourself. Some of you, through all of this, because this is, I'm getting a lot of, there's a lot of grief here, a lot of emotions, a lot of crying, things that are going to be released. It's a hard situation. This concerns your stability, your foundation, your money perhaps. It could be your entire life, it's like a whole shift. You need to take care of yourself at this time. Make sure as much as possible, because I know when you are in the midst of something that is very life-changing like this, something that's very disconcerting, that causes a lot of anxiety, it can be difficult to rest. For me, I remember when I went through a toxic job situation and I had to quit, I had no backup. It, it just affected my mental health. Little hot showers, I'm not talking like an hour, <laughs> just brief hot showers in the morning and at night calmed my nervous system because when we're in a state of anxiety, our uh, nervous system, uh, it, it's on overdrive. It's on flight, fright, freeze, or fawn mode. And depending on how you react, um, it just causes a whole lot of shit. It affects our gastrointestinal uh, area. Many of you could not be eating well or eating too much. You know, there's extremes on both ends. There's a lot of imbalances. Finding a way to rest your body and soothe your body in some way, whether it's taking a walk, being around safe people that you trust, is going to help you tremendously. You guys, we got the sun. Some of you are scared shit of making this decision, right? Of, of deciding what to do because you're like, there's nothing lined up afterwards. Again, it can be home, relationship, work. The sun is hope. The sun is a beautiful card. Good things, blessings, sunshine, abundance, opportunities. It's simply making that decision and literally having that faith in the universe trusting in the unknown. For some of you, this lesson may be about trust, learning to trust and release control, because sometimes we want to know what's going to come next and have that assurance that, okay, well, we're gonna have a job, we're gonna have this, and then we'll make that decision, but it doesn't work that way, <laughs> unfortunately. But you guys are so effing protected. You got two cards indicating protection. And we do have the wheel in reverse, but I feel like once you make a decision, these cards are going to go the other way. And I'll just say when they go the other way, this change is going to occur rapidly. The wheel is rapid change. It's like the universe is like, okay, she made the decision or she, he or she, I should say, this has no gender reference. They made a decision. These changes are coming in quick. This is a cause for celebration, which is the four of wands. And now they can go on their path because the queen of swords is detached. They've processed this shit, no more crying. They got their shit together, their sword, and they're like, I'm moving on in my life journey. 
that, that's what I feel like is coming once you make this decision. This is about your value, about making sure you know how valuable you are, your worth, that you love yourself enough to, to get out of this type of situation. Because what this is uh, getting a lot of karmic. It could be a karmic relationship, a karmic situation, some kind of karmic lesson you're learning. It's all about trust here. Okay. Let's wrap up with some final guidance. Okay. Any final guidance, please, for my Capricorns? You guys, your cards are jumping out. There's a lot you want. Excuse me. There's a lot you want to speak. Some of you may have been silenced, I'm hearing. Hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. I just said this about your worth. This is similar to me with the sun card. Absolutely beautiful card. It's almost like the sun and the star card. Aquarius energy combined together. Some of you may have lost hope in this situation. But look at these. You have so much waiting for you on the other end. It's the other end of fear. This is all about realizing that the fear, once you release that fear, like a balloon, let it float and you trust. All of this is coming. This is about your worth. We are wrapping this up. We got three more cards to get some final messages for you all for July. Thank you. We got passion and pleasure. Savor your life. So the sun card is Leo energy. That's a fire sign. And then we also get passions and pleasures. That also to me, although this has no zodiac sign, is indicative of Leo. Fifth house energy about your passions, your hobbies, your pastimes. I also get Taurus energy. Because Venusian energy is all about making sure you incorporate pleasure into your life joy, routines, you know, sensuality. Some of you were in situations that did not value who you were as a person, as a human. Some of you have been constantly just working and literally almost I got fighting for your life. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. This to me definitely references all the blue in the throat chakra messages we were getting. You have a truth here, whatever you're, you're changing, you're transitioning, you're leaving from, there's a truth you're going to carry and you're going to speak of. Perhaps after you've taken some time to heal and to process this, but there's a story here behind. Some of you may want to write a book I'm getting or work with others, helping others in what you've experienced because your truth is what's going to help you heal, speaking your truth, standing in that. Super powerful messages here. I feel like for some of you, especially if it was a work situation, you were silenced and you weren't allowed to speak or some of you were not allowed to speak in a relationship. Some of you are literally learning how to gain control of your voice and speak your truth. Stand in your power. There's a lot of healing for you all here. What message, any final messages for my Capricorns, please? What self-care message for my Capricorns? Thank you. Wow, we got 38, which is 11. Some of you may be seeing 11. Nourish your temple. Again, I, with the Four of Swords, I mentioned that about really taking care of yourself, of resting. And this also speaks to making sure that you take time out to take care of yourself. That could look like eating good food, resting especially during these types of times that can cause your sympathetic nervous system to be on overdrive, connecting to the divine, to nature. I feel like this is going to be a way that's going to help you heal as well. 
We're gonna pull final spirit animal for you and see what messages your spirit animals have to offer. What can, what um, messages can you offer my Capricorns please for July? All I know is a, there's a big shift coming you all. As soon as you make that decision, it's like a light switch goes off. And all of these cards with the wheel, it, it sets them into motion. Thank you. We got dog, friend. Here. Today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend. I feel like this is calling to you all to don't be afraid to ask for help. Because there's a lot of message about love and acceptance. Love is yours, recognize your worth. Love without condition. But I feel like it's about you asking for assistance now. Some of you I feel are givers. You give so much to other people and rarely ask for yourself. As Capricorns, you're very ambitious. A lot of you I feel have this independent nature of like I can do it myself. I have the resources, I have the will, I have the drive, I have the knowledge and the skills, I can do it. But this is a time to ask for help because I feel like many of you are that type of friend that do it for others without even asking, you just know. This is, uh, I feel like this is a beautiful reading because there's hope, there's a lot of healing, there's a lot of beauty and abundance coming for you all. My Capricorns, I'm wishing you tremendous peace during this time. For anyone that resonated with this reading, I'm wishing you healing during the season because Cancer is all about this coming to grips with this. Know your worth, your value, because you do matter. Make a decision for you and for yourself because amazing things are coming for you. Look at this. If this message resonated with you or you got anything out of it, please like, hit the thumbs up button or like it, share and subscribe. I am wishing you a peaceful and healing rest of your July. I don't know if I said June, I meant July. Otherwise, I will see you soon. Take care, my Capricorns. Thank you.